LG Velvet, a resurrection, a savior for LG, just maybe. So LG have had a torrid time in recent years when it comes to smartphone sales, moving from a very solid player in the smartphone industry to really a forgotten piece of history compared to the glory days anyway. Before it was a rival to some of the biggest names in the industry, but now it barely makes up enough sales to constitute even telling us how many it sells and just makes up the others column when it comes to sales volume data. But hey, let's just pause for a second and admire this new phone from LG, the LG Velvet. And this is the thing that LG think will resurrect their fortunes and bring them back into consumer consciousness. We got news of the LG Velvet last week, some sketches, some teasers and some information about what exactly the phone might be. According to LG, they want to bring back a unique design to smartphones again that goes against the current design language of smartphones, which is essentially a slab with a big camera bump on the back. So enter the water drop or raindrop inspired camera array and more premium materials. We also heard from LG that this may be a more affordable phone and use a mid-range chipset. Many people speculated it might be the Snapdragon 765G, and actually today that was confirmed officially by LG. And well, let's just say I like it, but I am skeptical too about how successful it can be. The chipset is very capable overall. The Snapdragon 765G is the brand new mid-range chipset from Snapdragon, it's got 5G, it's pretty powerful, and it's already been used in a few mid-range type of Chinese phones like the Redmi K30. Also the Xiaomi Mi 10 Lite is supposedly going to use that chipset when it does come out very soon. The Vivo Z6 uses it, some Reno devices from Oppo, and also a Realme device, the X50 also uses that chipset. Those phones though are relatively quite cheap, not something that LG usually does. Although, good news, LG are apparently going on something called an offensive pricing strategy, basically means they're gonna be charging less money for their products. Another area that LG will focus on is design. In fact, the official trailer that they gave us for the LG Velvet is literally called LG Velvet Design. The video showcases its 3D arc and raindrop camera array design. A triple camera arrangement with an LED flash all arranged in a vertical descending order in terms of size. The 3D arc design apparently refers to the curve on the screen and on the chassis at the back being exactly the same and looking like a perfectly rounded curve from front to back. A nice design won't be enough to sway consumers though over other spec'd out phones from Redmi, Xiaomi and so on. But the addition of a three and a half millimeter headphone jack is definitely a starting point. Apparently stereo speakers in the device is definitely a good spec too. And the design in general definitely is more premium-ish with its curves. If it has a curved screen, it will definitely be an OLED screen as well, which is definitely different to the cheaper Snapdragon 765G phones that have currently been released. But the confirmation in the official video that it uses a U-shaped notch is a little perplexing. It's not a terrible design by any means, it's a very neat design. However, the entire Android world has moved away from that design right now. In 2020, literally every phone that I've seen so far has a cutout design or a hole punch design in the screen. So it immediately serves to make the design on the screen of this phone look old. Even though it may not be a bad design, some people may prefer it, but in terms of the competition, everyone has moved away from that, so it immediately looks like a 2018 phone rather than a modern new phone. Early rumors are suggesting a 48 megapixel main image sensor, 4,000 million power battery, and the screen being maybe as big as 6.9 inches, which is really huge and is one of the biggest screens in the industry right now. That goes head to head with the S20 Ultra in terms of screen size. It will be coming to Korea, obviously, but apparently also finding its way to Europe, America, Japan, possibly some other markets too, maybe for about 800,000 Korean won, which is about 650 US dollars. Whether the phone will be able to turn around LG's fortunes, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Let me know your comments. Do you think this is a good looking phone, good specs, good price, or do you think it just won't be able to compete with the Chinese brands, those specced out phones at lower prices? Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe for the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.